So here are the four things that the Jewish apostles and elders of the Christian church and the Holy Spirit required of non-Jewish believers in Jesus. Okay, five things. Got it. Now let me finish. There are just four things. Right, five things. No fornication, no adultery, no eating things sacrificed to idols, and no consuming blood. And you got a tithe. No, wait, it doesn't say that. Tithe or you're cursed. Like under the law, cursed? Under the law, on top of the law, doesn't matter. You won't know which one's which because you'll be cursed. Either God's going to break your wash machine or give you cancer. Wow, that escalated really quickly. Curses, bro. Doesn't the Bible say that Jesus redeemed us from the curse of the law? Yeah, if you tithe, listen, I don't make the rules. And you said yourself, there were five things that the Gentiles were supposed to do. I, I said four things. Uh, but anyway, uh, it says in the Bible that the tithe was supposed to go to the Levites. I bet you don't even know a Levite. Yeah, Levites make great jeans. These new 514s that I've got, just the right amount of stretch. Wow. Wow, okay. And 10% of what went to the Levites was supposed to go to the sons of Aaron. There's a guy named Aaron that comes to first service, but he doesn't have any kids, so I don't know exactly where you're going with this. All right, let's just get back to what the apostles and the Holy Spirit were saying to the Gentile believers. Clearly, there's been a misunderstanding somewhere. Clearly, you're cursed. Have you ever met anybody that was just straight up ridiculous like that? Like they are just determined to be cursed? Like it's just something that they can't even fathom that Jesus took care of that too? Some people are just determined to not believe the good news. Can you believe that they don't believe the good news? That they ought to be believing about Jesus? People are pretty ridiculous, aren't they?